Welcome everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. So how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. So today, what I have, I have a, first of all, let me thank it to each and every one of you to make my video one of the most popular video as far as my YouTube channel is concerned. I'm talking about when to use blending and when to use cross DB join. But I think there is a room uh, for improvement and that's why I'm going to make a remix version of the same. I'm not going to delete the previous version it's already having 10k plus views and so many of you would have already included that in your playlist so i'm not going to do that but i'll have this uh, new remix version so maybe slowly and surely you will replace this that with this one okay so you have uh, more information uh, in this session you will have uh, links to the workbooks and the uh, excel source excel uh, data source for this very particular session so let's move on uh, let's go and remix when to use blending and when when to use cross db join so let's go to my slides so first of all, thanks for the 10K views. And as I said, I'm going to remix it. Before that, uh, do like uh, this video if you like my effort, uh, because it's very difficult for any YouTuber to replace a video which is having the maximum number of views. So I'm doing this just for you. So what is data blending? Data blending means computing multiple data sources into the same view. As you can see in the diagram, uh, you have different data sources over there, right hand side and the left hand side, this one. And you get a different data warehouse, data marts. You are you are getting the query result, and after that, you are blending those query results from the different data sources. Yes, we have to make use of common fields. It can be one or more. That is data blending for you. But how it is different from the join? The, the data source that we are going to use. Data source one level of detail is city. Data source two level of detail is the state Uttarakhand and Nital. so you have tourist count on the left hand side and you have expected tourist count on the right hand side so we have a small uh, small story if you would have seen my previous video then you can relate to that that we have Lakshman Singh Best who is trying to present to a tourist minister and he has got these two data sources I know this is small but I just want to show you that I'm going to paste this link at YouTube description and you can download the data sources so that you can practice along with me. So we have uh, these two data sources and his job is to present and he did cross DB join and you can see you have Uttarakhand, okay, Nanital, Dehradun, you have cities within those states and on the right hand side you have expected tourist count and he did cross DB join and that's fine. Karnataka 1000, tourist count expected null, that's fine. UP 2000, 2000. 2000 and 2000 but when it's when it came to Uttarakhand it was tourist count 7000 and expected tourist count was 2000 which is actually the double number of the actual count so I'm going to show you practically but I so the, this is the mistake that he did and he was rescued by an another fellow that 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 person told him that you don't have to make use of cross db join here but you need to make use of blending because there was the duplication of data so why th there was the duplication of that data we need to see that because if you see blending over there you see uttarakhand expected to discount as 1000 only 1000 only but when we do it practically you'll get to know what i'm trying to say so let us go to the worksheet itself here we go so here you can see i'm going to Go to new data source and Excel. Download and here you can see. So this will be my first. So I'm, I'm going to start with joins. So let me say open. Okay, so I have to join, right? So what I'll do, I have to click on add. This is the way you join. Again, you have to say Microsoft Excel. Now I have these other data, so that's the second one, where we are getting the expected tourist count. That's fine. I say open. I will make this as left outer join so that I can get all these states because Karnataka is missing for now because Karnataka is not there in the right hand side table. So that's why 
I'm, I won't include all the tables. That's fine. So I go to sheet number five, you can see over there, because now this is at level of detail city. But when we remove that city from the view, then what will happen? So let us try to see the same. Go to sheet five. So this is our new. So let me just rename it as join. I'll say cross db join. I say okay. Inside table. Now I say tourist count. And I say expected tourist count. <clears throat> now if you see over there with for Uttarakhand, the expected tourist count is coming as 2000. So if you just go back, the expected tourist count should be 1000. But we see the duplication over there. Let us try to understand. Okay, maybe if I expand this state, now I think we can get an idea over there that, okay, it is adding 1000 and 1000. There is a duplication in between. And after that, it is adding, it is aggregating to 2000. Now let us see whether the same thing will happen with data blending or not. So let us say this as join and let me open a new sheet. I've already connected means now you can connect right db1 and db2. So db1 is this one, tourist count and db2 is expected tourist count. So that you can do it yourself, right? Now what you have to do is you have to just remember one thing that there we did left outer join and we included all the rows from the data source where you have to risk count. So that was the left hand side table. So if you replicate that, if you want to replicate that scenario, then you have to make this as primary data source. Now, how do you make any data source as primary? You have to drag from that data source. You have to drag first dimension from that very data source first, dimension of measure, whatever. So I will drag state so that now this is the primary because let me go back to these slides over there which join is used in data blending left join when you use a left join to combine data query you know what is a left join over there but the default join in data blending is left join and which is the left table the primary table which is the primary table from where you are dragging first so that's why we have dragged first from the tourist count data source so that we can include all these states, right? That's why you see this blue background over there. Now I get the tourist count. I go to the other data source. Now automatically it has blended. Otherwise you would have gone to data and edit relationship. But we don't have to do that because we already have two columns with the same name. So automatically you can see that link over there, right? it has automatically automatically blended otherwise you have to go to data added relationship and you can set the relationship there it, uh, as well right so i don't have to do that but it, it has blended expected to risk count now you can see the difference or not for uttarakhand expected to risk count is 1000 if i go to the data source the expected to risk count is 1000 right and at blending, you are saying it correctly. If I go to, let me say blending. If I go back to join, no, it is coming as 2000. So let us start with the uh, say join over there. So what is the difference? So with join, you can see you, we are getting double count over there. So if I try to expand the state over there, maybe you'll get some idea. Okay. And now you can see thousand and thousand. So in case of join, if we, if we say we have two different tables which are joining, right? The aggregation will happen here after joining. That means if you have different level of details, for example, there you have city in one table, in other table you have state. 
and because of the different level of detail you have partitions over there so you have two partitions for the for the state of uttarakhand you have two right so if 1000 is coming from the secondary data source 1000 1000 it has come but it will duplicate with the number of partitions it will duplicate and then it will aggregate so 1 rupee and 1 rupee will become 2 rupee in this case 1000 1000 will become 2000 in this case that's what is happening over there now let us see with what will happen with blending primary and secondary or say left table or a table of primary secondary in the case of blending so this is secondary data course it's it is already aggregated it is not going to aggregate here it's it's aggregated it will just combine with the field with on the right hand side table on the left hand side table it will just combine so if it is 1000 then it is 1000 it will just combine it will just combine so if i extend straight over there you'll get to know right so that's what i was trying to tell you thousand and thousand thousand and thousand it'll just combine it's already aggregated thousand and thousand that's it so if i just go back to the slide and we can now talk more about the differences i hope now this slide is making sense to you but let us move further blending versus cross db joins here is the page i where i have given you more and more information go with blending when data source not supported by cross database joint obviously if the data source is not supported by cross db join then you will have to go with blending only for example cubes and salesforce so if you if someone asks you the example you can give these two examples data is at different levels of details we have already discussed about the same granularity level of detail of the data source in a table same thing what is the granularity they are just defining the granularity for example here in one of the table we had cities in other table we had states join cost duplicate data that we have already seen secondary table having large data right but before moving further there is a workaround right uh, it's not that it is impossible to come out of that there's a very simple trick so if i want to rectify my join i can just go back to the join and i know the problem is with the expected tourist count so i'll go and i'll say minimum now you can see it, it has got rectified but still we would not go with this because it is causing duplication right if there are hundreds of records or thousands of records it will create duplication of all those records that would again kill the cpu and memory and after that you are minimizing that that is not going to help you so this is the work but if you have got the option to use blending you you go with the blending if you have large data set as far as secondary database is concerned so that's what they are trying to tell you over there secondary table having large data so you go with blending go with cross db joins when by default we should go with cross db join by default actually so if if you just ignore the some of the cases that we have talked like secondary table having large data otherwise you should go with cross db join better performance with cross db join generally better when you have one to one relationship like that 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 we talked about data blending is having several limitations due to design constraints so we'll make an another video on the same where you can see that what are the several limitations and what are the different workarounds data blending can only be left join so that's what i was telling you at the start that it can only be left join so if you have if you can make ensure that you have all the data on your left hand side table then it is viable to go with data blending again this is the same reason that i have already told you so this is my enhanced version or the remix version i hope you like it and if you are liking it so why don't you go ahead and hit the like button 
you will get the associated uh, links the data sources at the youtube description from there you can download and you can practice so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data keep on dancing with data because data is our data aur tumko sab kuch aata bye bye